Hi, and welcome back to Surviving School with Schnettler. So one of the important things you need to know is how to read a grade report. This is what I do in my class, so that's what we're going to pay attention to in this video. So I have marked out all of the identifying information. These are real grades from a real class so that uh, we can have a real discussion about grades. Um, so a couple things to notice, these will be posted on the door. Uh, they will be labeled so you can find your class. One important thing to notice is that they are not alphabetically sorted by last name. They are in order of grade in the class, so the highest grade is right here, all the way down to the lowest grade. In this last box here, you can find the class average in case you want to compare yourself to another class. Alright, now that we have that information, it's also important to know what I highlight and why. So when I do this on my door, currently I'm using two different colors. Extra credit is always in yellow like it is in this video. However, the software I'm using only has a yellow highlighter. So the other colors over here for your grade, I normally would have a separate color for that. Um, but it is what it is for this video. So I will highlight any overall grades that are a D or an F. And I will highlight any assignments that are currently a D or an F that can also be fixed. So there are some assignments that can't be fixed, in which case those won't be highlighted. And it is possible I will make a mistake. The class policy comes first. So this student can come over here and see that they got a D or an F on that assignment, but they don't know what assignment it is. Well, if you look at the top of the column, you can see it says 12. So if I come down here, 12 is the design cycle introduction. So that student knows they need to go back to the design cycle introduction in Canvas, go to grades, look up the rubric, see what it is that they missed, and because it's highlighted and it's a D or an F, they know that they can go back, fix those mistakes, edit the document, and resubmit it on Canvas to earn more points. You can do this once. You can't turn it in and turn it in and turn it in and turn it in you get to turn it in once. So make sure that you really read that rubric and understand what it is that you didn't do correctly the first time so that your edit is worth your time. Now this student happens to have two more blinks as well and that is in the extra credit section. I can tell it's extra credit because it doesn't have a C for classwork or a U for unit project. It has an EC for extra credit and they didn't do extra credit 14 or extra credit 16. So they can come down here and see that that's signing a parent or a guardian up for a remind and also getting a Canvas account linked with an observer. So other than if this student personally wants to fix that assignment or get more extra credit as a little bit of a buffer, they have an A and I think that they are doing really well. So this student has an A also, but it's just barely, and they can see they have done all of the extra credit, which is excellent. Their grade would be much lower without that. Um, but they also have three assignments that are a D or an F. So they could go back and fix those assignments still at this point in time to increase that grade. Over here, the student only has one D or F, but they have no extra credit done. So even though they have very similar points to the first student, their grade is about 5% lower. We have our first missing assignment. This student could fix that easily by turning in the missing assignment. As we go further, you can see that as we start to get into the really low grades, there's just multiple missing assignments. One assignment was a zero for some reason, and there's also a lot of less extra credit done in this section. Um, so usually when students are very upset they have a D or an F, it's almost always because of missing work. So it's really important that you keep on top of that. Make sure you're getting in your work, first of all, on time, but second of all, definitely before the late work deadline so that you can get those fixed. And because if it's marked missing with that M, it always counts as a zero in progress book and zeros can devastate your grade. So um, I just wanted to show you how the columns are named so you can always find the assignment, um, what the highlighting means, what the extra credit is, and on progress book there will be directions on how to get all of that extra credit done. And I hope this helps you to survive Schnettler's classes.